Bentley Bentayga S 2022 Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. What is it? While some parts of the world still get a W12 powered Bentley Bentayga speed, this was been dropped for Europe with last year's facelift, slackening demand and tightening emission standards being the official reasons. Now Bentley has created a junior model that we will be able to buy, the Bentayga S, adding most of the same dynamic tweaks to the V8. Bad news first, there is no more power. Company insiders say the complexity of homologating different power plants within Europe precluded the possibility of an output tweak, although the 4.0-liter V8 peaks of 542 bhp and 568 pounds foot remain impressive enough. On Bentley's figures, the S's 4.5 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour time and 180 miles per hour top speed are just 0.6 seconds and 10 miles per hour off the respective figures for the W12. Suspension changes from the standard V8 are more significant. Bentley says the dampers are 15% stiffer but that the S has also been given a more dynamic escape tune in its sport mode. It also gets the dynamic ride system as standard, this being the active setup that uses 48 volts motors to counter lean under hard cornering loads by applying torque to the anti-roll bars. Visually, the S gets the darkened trim of the Bentayga's optional black line package as standard, subtle badging on the doors, a larger rear wing and oval tailpipes, plus 22 inches alloy wheels as standard. There is also stitched S branding on the seats. What's it like? While the Bentayga styling and proportions have been likened to those of a stately home, the car has always felt fleet of foot when pressed hard, and the S does indeed improve on the impressive dynamic abilities of the regular V8. There might be no more power, but a new sports exhaust has given the V8 a significant increase in character. It fires into life with a fruity idle, burbles under gentle use and develops an angry snarl when worked hard. While it sounds great to petrol head ears, especially driving past at full throttle, the volume is getting towards antisocial levels, neighbors are certainly going to notice any Bentayga S owners trying to sneak out early in the morning. Yet the chassis still feels impressively well judged, with even a relatively short drive in California proving the stiffened settings haven't compromised the standard Bentayga's pliant athleticism. Sport mode gives the ride a noticeable edge over high-frequency imperfections but never turns the car harsh. Comfort mode feels nearly as pliant as the regular V8, despite the huge wheels, and the air springs always use their travel intelligently to absorb and digest bumps rather than fight them. As before, the default B dynamic mode leaves the car to its own devices, and it definitely makes the right choices most of the time. The anti-roll system works almost invisibly. It doesn't entirely cancel lean under hard cornering loads, a small amount has been deliberately left in to give the driver a sense of the forces at play. But it feels impressively lithe and wieldy for something so tall and heavy, putting up a spirited resistance to understeer in tighter turns before ultimately surrendering to it. The 8-speed Autobox's sport mode remains too aggressive, kicking down under gentle throttle applications rather than trusting in the engine's mighty torque and holding on to low gears for longer than it needs to. The transmission also feels slightly dull-witted when ordered to make changes by the steering wheel paddles, sometimes missing ratios when multiple shifts are requested in short order. And the five-spoke alloy wheels will also be wide of many tastes, the combination of polished faces and black spokes on the car I drove making them look very aftermarket. Should I buy one? While few Bentayga buyers are likely to put dynamic focus at the top of their list or purchasing priorities, the S's improved handling and soundtrack are significant upgrades. A 182,300 pound price tag represents a substantial 24,500 pound supplement over the standard V8, but it isn't much more than the combined cost of the extras it offers as standard when fitted to the regular car. If you want the best Bentayga available in the UK, this is it.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.